Ah well, for the first case, the Ministry of Justice was still not ready, just like what happened on Monday. So they applied for adjournment, and, uh, which was granted, and the matter was adjourned to tomorrow to enable them to file and serve their processes. Then the other one was actually right for hearing all parties who have, uh, they have filed their processes, just like we stated on Monday, and they were able to respond also. We have filed ours in response to theirs. And so the both their preliminary objection and the main application we are taking today. The matter has been adjourned for judgment. Well, we approached the court because of uh, the ongoing uh, demolition by the Kano State Government uh, of land, which it is the same government that allocated same to people, to its citizens, and it's the same government that is now saying it was illegally allocated. It's the same governor. We have one governor. Uh, in the state, and uh, by the law, the governor is the custodian of the land. So the same governor that gave the land is now saying, no, I gave it illegally, so we are wondering. Uh, so they chase the uh, people out of their houses, beat them up, you know, mark their houses that they must demolish it, remove Kanubia and uh, what have you. So we are actually here for that inhuman treatment method against our clients. And the issue of whether it was properly allocated or who is the proper owner of that land, that is an uh, issue for the State High Court. We have also filed uh, a case before the State High Court. But we are here for the inhuman treatment method against our client and the infringement on their rights to property because they are still in position. So due process should be followed uh, in whatever is being done, not uh, people taking the law into its hands. Even if it is government, it is taking the law in, uh, into its hands. You need the, gov the court order before you do such things. So that is why we are here. We are now expecting the judgment of the court, so we won't deliberate much. We we'll have to wait and hear what the court will say. Okay, what happened is that these applicants filed uh, fundamental rights proceedings for this one of the court. And they brought several courts in high court. Uh, what we are saying is that they are claiming that they have title over pieces of land. This piece, these pieces of land are part of Kano State Polytechnic. And the Kano State Polytechnic comprised of uh, many tertiary institutions, including Kano State Islamic Legal Studies, uh, Kano State uh, School of Management Studies. There is also School of Technology. These are public schools. And the area and the land given to them is part of that property. It's part of the land that has been vested on Kano State Polytechnic. And the Kano State Polytechnic has a law that protected all its properties. And this law is Kano State Polytechnic, Polytechnic Law 2015. So, what is before this honorable court is that a private title trying to supersede public ownership. This is what we are saying. They were given title to private individuals. And this land belongs to the general public, to the, to the citizens of Kano State. So it is, it is illegal to issue title documents over a public land protected by law. While this law has been in existence for several years, Kano State Polytechnic has, uh, that land has been set aside for Kano State Polytechnic for decades. And so it is improper and highly illegal to, to, to give a grant using the lands belonging to Kano State Polytechnic because it's protected by law. This is just our argument. No, what they are saying is that uh, the treat maltreatment or, or not, I was not there, whatever happened. I cannot answer that question. But they are seeking for their fundamental rights of owning a property under the Constitution. This is what they are saying. And what we are saying is that, that that title given to them has no basis in law because it breached an existing and old law. Kano State for Technical 2015. The interest of justice. What are the prayers in this court? Case? Well, the prayers in this court is that uh, we're asking the court to now determine that our clients were not given fair hearing, that they have right to own a property. 
and that their right to dignity of human persons has been violated. So also their right uh, to family life has been violated and also that uh, no person should just be chased out of his house without really due process. That's what we are here for. Yes, we are asking for damages. Um, that is, if the court believes or agree with us that our right has been violated, then certainly we are asking for damages of about 50 million uh, for each of my clients. Okay. 15, 15 million. million. Well, virtually there are almost same part, uh, different uh, clients, but they have the same cause. What is the same cause? The issue of threat to uh, one to demolish their property without hearing them without giving them fair hearing and also without pulling the due process. So the two cases are all saying that, look, yes, we know government has power to revoke a property, but when you want to revoke, follow the due process. What is the due process? Now, serve me with the notice, hear me, and then allow me to respectfully be given a notice so that I will not be degraded, myself and my family. That is our point. And then for those torments, which our clients had Herbert those nights, that we're asking for damages because of torture and human degradation. But, but do you believe that government has powers on land? And lands belong to government. Do you believe that to, to of that? Of course, uh, of course. Everybody, every lawyer knows that the government has power to allocate a revoke. When a government allocates, allocates a property or allocated a property to somebody, that's a, a land. And then he seeks for its approval. I want to build. Okay, you, you, now you get the approval. And then after that, you now follow due process and then paid all the required fees that you are entitled to. And then what we are saying that uh, we, are, uh, we are not talking about land use act here. We are not going to court on the land use act. We may be somewhere in another court on the land use act. Mm. Certainly our client will go to the court that has no decision. This court has no decision on the issue of ownership. We are not